Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I've decided to mix it up a little bit this morning. Change the way I operate. I've got a cap on, mainly because I didn't feel like combing my hair. I've just woken up. Oh yes, and my studio prop. Let me just bring it into focus a little more for you. My fantastic. Don't you have number plate studio prop. And in case you get any bored with it, I'm going to do what a lot of these other two crown guys do. I'm going to put a coffee mug into my uh, into my in, in, as a studio prop. So here we go. I hope you appreciate the effort I'm making to to make things interesting for you. This is a very interesting video. This one I did it yesterday, and I had to. I woke up this morning realizing I had to redo it because I was so angry yesterday. I really lost my shit with this guy. So I'm going to do it a little bit more humorously, and it's not that this is a thing that is humorous. But I am going to expose to you one of the most evil human beings I have ever encountered now. It will in a hell of a long time. I don't know if this guy is just an, is a, is a nutcase, if he's just a simple nutcase, or if there's something more sinister going on. Sorry, I've got my cat giving me... Hell yeah, she always gives me hell every morning. I've got two of them, two black cats. There goes the other guy. I didn't, they're not my cats. They, anyway. they adopted me. I'm their pet. And I've got my dog, Lulu, sitting here next to me, also looking for my attention. She doesn't understand why I'm talking to the machine. But this guy, I don't know whether he is just a nutcase or if there's something more sinister going on here. And I actually think there's something more sinister because he's not a nutcase. I think he's been paid to cover up the Kylie Rodney murder story as an accident. I think I seriously do believe it and I'm going to prove it. I challenged them to a debate on his site. He obviously deleted the comments and, 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 and he, won't, he won't do it. So I am going to do something now. I thought this morning the right way to do this. I'm going to have a debate with him. Yes, a tantric debate. I'm going to play you his video that he made now claiming that it is absolutely 100% certainly an accident. That, the, that this girl was strapped in the boot of a car and badly beaten up as well accidentally drove a car into the lake. That's, his, that's what his summary of, of the events surrounding this tragic case is. You know why my blood's boiling. You know why I'm, uh, I was angry and I'm going to try and not let it spill over again. I'm going to try and keep it calm. Well, you know, it's a, it's a tantric debate. People can do tantric sex on the cyber web. I can have a tantric debate. Not that I want to. Not that, I mean, as I say, I'll, I've got a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach when I've got to do this, but I am going to do this and I am going to work this guy's case and I won't get off his case. And I will expose him. So I'm going to play the video, his video. I'll stop it and reply. And we will do a tantric debate live. I'm live. He's, I don't know where he is. I hope he's dead. But I'm live this side. And I'm going to debate Mr. True Crime Rocket Scientist, my fellow South African. The only, this is what he says, the only true, authentic voice. The only authentic voice in true crime. I see he's changed that now after I laughed at him and ridiculed him for that mad statement to the critical thinking crime channel. Well, you listen to listen to this now. We'll have to talk about some critical thinking. Let's look at his critical thinking. And I'll criticize his critical thinking. So, sit down grab yourself a mug of whatever latte or whatever the hell it is that you have in the morning. I've already had mine. It's just instant coffee. So, listen up. Let's see how this debate goes. As I say, yesterday I did an entire, uh, but I ended up so angry that I was basically frothing at the mouth and wanting to climb aboard an airplane to go over to America and punch his head off. So, I'd, I think I'd rather delete that one. And I'll try and do it a little more uh, humorously and not that this is a funny thing at all. But I am going to expose this moron for what, uh, either being a moron or being a criminal. 
So, listen up. Kylie's phone going off when it did, and the last ping being where it did, fits into an accident scenario. Think about it. If you simply started your search on the location of the last ping, and if you considered she might be in the water, the search wouldn't have taken 35 minutes. It would have taken less than 5 minutes, perhaps 35 seconds, if the diver had gone in and shone his flashlight directly ahead. How does the ping at the accident site at the water's end, just after midnight on the morning of August 6th, square with the tow truck guy spiel? For that to work, Kylie and presumably her vehicle had to be near the accident site, then leave the campground completely for about half a day, then come all the way back to where the ping was. Right, uh, so let's look at his uh, clue number one for it being an accident. The, the phone ping at the water's edge at 12.33, the last phone ping at 12.33. That proves that it was an accident, he says. That phone hasn't been found. If that phone was in the car when she drove in, it would be in the car or around that area. It hasn't been found. They found cans, they found other gadgets, they found the charger, but they didn't find the phone. Didn't find it. So he says she drove in, that was the last ping. When she went in the water, that's when the phone cut out. While she was in the back of her car, strapped in to the hatch. That's, that's what criminal genius mind rocket scientist says. So that's his clue number one. That this was an accident. Now we'll listen to his clue list number two. Clueless clue number two to prove that this was an accident. You're not going to believe this. Listen, listen to this carefully. Number two. The great thing about the second clue was it showed how even we became disoriented and lost our way. And we were sober. We were looking at maps of the campground. Many assumed, as Gray Hughes did, that the party site was here, except it was here. The correct party location changes everything, because suddenly the route Kylie took means at the very first T-junction, a left turn would take her to Truckee and home, and to safety, but a right turn would take her towards the Isthmus and a watery grave. I literally think in Kylie's case, the difference between her going on to live happily ever after, and I'm sure she would have, was a right turn that turned out to be a wrong turn. And we speculated as much that the entire case could be explained by something as simple as just a wrong turn on August 18th on this channel, four days before Kylie was found, and also four days before Adventures with Purpose fueled the suspicious narrative. <laughs> oh my god, can you believe that? Did you hear what he said there? She took a right turn that turned out to be wrong. That's, that's his summary. He ignores all the evidence. He ignores the fact that her friend was bruised, battered, had a bite mark on her arm the next day. He ignores that. that no, 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 that's something separate. Uh, she probably rolled down a hill or fell down a hill by accident or whatever. I don't know what excuse. I've asked him the question. I said, what about her? Why do you ignore her? What is that? He doesn't answer me. So I'm going to put it out to him here now. And I'd like you guys out there, because I'm blocked by YouTube. They don't let my videos uh, go onto the algorithm. You won't see them. Only the people that, that have subscribed to me will maybe get to realize that I posted a video because YouTube is blocking everyone that is um, uh, against the uh, accident narrative that they favor and we know how they lie we know how they lied about joe biden winning the election we know what youtube does youtube is nothing but a filthy dirty propaganda controlled by the democratic party and all the pedophile underworld uh, globalists 
to push a narrative out that, that, that deflects from all of their activities and they're involved in these child sex rings and that may even be involved in this and maybe even this reprobate from my country is involved in that too. He looks like a bit of a creep. Maybe I look like a creep too, but I'm not that kind of a creep. So that's his clue number two. She took a wrong turn, or sorry, a right turn. It turned out to be wrong. Oh, how hilarious. All right, let's listen to his number three brain fart here. Number three and four. Kylie's isolation, Kylie's social media, and I also think the Virginity Rock sticker on Kylie's laptop all reinforce the notion of a teenager that would have all the more reason to get shit-faced than anyone else. The level of frustration, the need to socialize, and the need to release pent-up emotion was, I think, relatively higher for her. The fact that she was single also likely made her behave more recklessly than she would if she had a boyfriend looking after her and also sort of holding her back and perhaps taking control of the situation. And that then brings us to clue number six, the clue that we all missed, intoxication. So the sixth clue we all missed was intoxication. You almost never hear it mentioned. And when you do, intoxication is dismissed because Sammy's testimony is regarded as unreliable. Well, I differ on that score for five reasons. In other words, I believe Sammy's testimony or Sammy's statement or what Sammy said for five reasons. Number one, an independent witness described Kylie as shit-faced. But we're also told before the time that Kylie wanted to get drunk. Sammy says Kylie had intended to get drunk at the party. That was reported in the U.S. Sun as well. I suppose you can argue that Sammy is only saying that to protect herself and that it's a kind of victim blaming. But speaking for myself, I went to a birthday party about a month ago where I planned to drink too much and I did. If I make a conscious decision to do that, is it someone else's fault? In a way, there are stresses that play into the dynamics, but one can't conflate that with foul play. One can't say it was my intention to do X, but then Y happened, and so now it's Z's fault. I think the word premeditated has been used here and there on various channels discussing the case. Has anyone thought that Kylie may have premeditated her own intoxication, but then taken it too far? I did about a month ago. Teenagers very often do. Did Kylie have a shot or two or three too many? That last martini was uh, too, too many. So did you listen to that now? This creep thinks this is a big fucking joke. Did you hear that? That little one too many little joke he threw in at the end of that clip. This is what a creepy is. What a pervert he is. What a lying, filthy, disgusting sack of shit he is. And this is why I'm going to get him arrested. I won't rest until he's arrested. Number two, fuckface, is Kylie. Was a 16-year-old girl, not an adult. You might have the mind of a 16-year-old, if you're lucky. I think it's more like a 12-year-old. So don't you compare what you did and try and logically connect that to what she did and try and blame her for her own death. She was murdered. You know it. I know it. The whole world knows it. And then the whole world is now going to know about you. And now he mentions, he, did you see, he mentions the five things that's uh, the, the suspicious thing Samantha Smith, the beaten up friend with a bite mark on her forearm and even on her ankle, said the next day. And he's, he, he, you see how clever he is. He doesn't acknowledge it because he knows it's out there. But he says it's just that she's a young girl who uh, is, is, you know, not able to express herself properly. That she made mistakes that make her sound incriminating. Did you, did you pick that up? Now, that I don't think is stupidity. Uh, it, it can't be. That is, that's proof that he is deliberately involved in a cover-up. Yeah. I think he's involved in this case. I think he's involved with Samantha Smith. He's certainly involved with the law enforcement authorities to push this narrative. He's probably being paid. That is, that is what I think is happening here. He's being paid to do this. But all I want to tell him and the law enforcement authorities and all the, the others saying that this is an accident, you are going to go to the grave with the stain of this girl's soul on your souls. 
and you will pay for it because believe me my friends there is a consequence for what you do and the evil you do in this life you're not going to escape it you think Hitler died and, 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 and he just rested in peace I've got news for you I think Robert Mugabe died and is just going to rest in peace I've got news for you there's a hell and I'm Jewish I found out when I was 35 that I was Jewish I didn't realize that before by my mother's lineage and Jews don't believe in hell but I do believe in hell and I also believe in Jesus so I'm a little bit of an anomaly of a Jew. I've had a lot of fights about it. You can't be a Jew because you believe in Jesus. I've even been slapped by a woman that I was trying to chat up, a beautiful Jewish girl. And when I told her, I said, no, I'm, I'm actually Jewish too. But although I'm Christian, I was brought up, and I, and I don't use the word Christian anymore because I'm not a Christian either, but I do believe in Jesus. And uh, because Christianity, uh, sorry, it's, it's, a, a, it's an abomination. And it's, it's not, it gets too sidetracked, but it is an abomination. So, let's continue our interview, our, 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 well not interview, our, our, my, my tantric debate with Mr. Rocket Scientist. You see those five pieces of evidence that he gave? Not one of them is evidence. Not one of them. Yet, he's got 90,000 people who think he's a genius. Ah, words fail me. All right. Let's continue listening to this moron and his diatribe, all this crooked scum. Let's listen to him. Don't you think God ruined a perfectly good asshole when he put teeth in this asshole's mouth? Hey guys, uh, welcome to True Crime Rocket Science. Welcome to the Critical Thinking True Crime channel. Any idea what the number six clue could be? Any thoughts on that topic? Alan Gregory says, there are lots of rumors on Kylie still. Yeah, I must say, I hope that that's gonna be sorted out. Like I hope there's gonna be a report that's going to finalize all of this. Yeah, I agree. And you're gonna, Deborah, you're gonna kind of get a, a deeper sense of of exactly that in this analysis. So, any thought what the sixth clue can be? I mean, obviously, there's a there's a. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Please. Don't you think this guy needs a peer car? Sorry, people, that's a South African term that's going to be difficult for me to explain to you. I can't translate it because a, a, a vagina smack doesn't quite uh, convey the true meaning of it. But that's more or less what it means in South African. A peer car is a puss clap. Now, you can catch clap from a vagina. But that's not what it means. So this guy... I know, Mr. Rocket Scientist, what you are up to. I know exactly what you're up to. And I am not going to get off your case. Not. I will make it my mission to expose you. And I'm even consulting in America with legal people to have you arrested. I'm going to have you arrested. Yes, dude. How's that feel? Hmm? Your party's over, buddy. Your party's over. Sitting there making millions on YouTube every day, lying out your, through your teeth. You got a problem on your hands. The problem on your hands, his name is Chris Elsom, and he's sitting here. And when I go on to someone's case, I go on to someone's case. I don't let go. I don't back down. Know that Tom Petty song, I won't back down? Everyone knows me. That's going to be my funeral song. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, and I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You got a problem. Ha <laughs> ha. You got a problem.
Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs>